welcome to Pattern Christianity, the podcast where we teach the pure and true unadulterated gospel and teachings of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Monday Evening Devotional. This is some exciting times, so I want you to be ready. We're going to sing hymn number 150. Um, And then we'll sing hymn number 303, Keep the Commandments. After which I will offer the opening prayer. This morning, words of life, truth to have here. Now, here we go. Keep the commandments, keep the commandments, in this there is safety, in this there is peace, he will send blessings, he will send blessings, Words of a prophet keep the commandments. In this there is safety. 
We will now pray. Heavenly Father, we thank thee so much for this glorious Sabbath day. And trusting thee and loving thee during this time. We invite thy spirit into this. Our meeting. And say this in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. A reading of the eighth proverb. Wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing froward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me... Kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth, While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth. When he established the clouds above. When he strengthened the fountains of the deep. When he gave to the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandment. When he appointed the foundations of the earth. Then I was by him as one brought up with him. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. 
But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. A reading of the 39th Psalm. I said, I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. I was done with silence. I held my feet. Even from good and my sorrow was stirred. Lord, make me to have mine end and the measure of my days. What it is that I may know how frail I am. Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He leapeth up, he heapeth up riches. And knoweth not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my uh, transgressions. Make me not a reproach of the foolish. Okay, so we're now leaving the Old Testament and we're reading in the ninth book of Acts. No, the eighth chapter of Acts. Here we go. Then Philip opened, this beginning with verse 35, Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came into a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. I have been waiting to read this particular chapter in the book of Acts for some time. You know... In the Latter-day Saint tradition, this is something I'm having to learn. If you are of the priesthood, you have the proper authority to baptize. Here's the thing. 
you have to go through a time of spiritual prepare, preparedness along with the person being baptized. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to Doctrine and Covenants. Um, Section 20. All right. We're going to go to Doctrine and Covenants, section 20, verse 37. And I think this goes for the priesthood holder as much as it, as it goes for the person being baptized. And again, by way of commandment. Ah, why did it leave? My technology is not being cooperative today. I'll try this again. I don't know why technology these days when it does not want to work properly. And again, by way of commandment, the church concerning the manner of baptism, all those who humble themselves before God and decide to be baptized and come forth with broken heart and contrite spirit and witness before the church that they have truly repented of all their sins and are willing to take upon them the name of Jesus Christ having a determination to serve him to the end and truly manifest by their works that they have received of the Spirit of Christ unto the remission of their sins shall be received by baptism into the church. The, this, I think this applies to anybody in the priesthood Dealing with baptism in and of itself, we need to be humble. You know, if we're desiring to help that person to be baptized and, and baptize him, we need to be humble and have that and, and have that full of faith. Okay. Now, Okay, I'm still no one can be retrieved into the Church of Christ unless he has arrived unto the years of accountability before God and is capable of repentance. Okay. Age of accountability in the churches is eight. Because that age they are capable of repentance. Baptism is to be uh, administered in the following manner unto all those who repent. The person who is called of God 
and has authority from Jesus Christ to baptize shall go down into the water with a person who has presented himself or herself for baptism and shall say, calling them him or her by name, having been commissioned of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Then shall he immerse the, him or her in the water and come forth again out of the water. Have an adoptive nephew. And it just blows him away when I say that I'm a priest. I'm a priest and I'm an elder. By virtue of my priesthood. And I know of the strong spiritual preparation I need in order to baptize someone. I know that these things are true, and I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.